Welcome back guys. So today we would be seeing two more, most important concepts that are relation between probability and density function capital F of x and probability density function that is f of x small f of x. So um, probability distribution function and probability density function. So small f of x is equals to differentiation of capital F of X that is probability density function is equals to the differentiation of probability distribution function this is the formula now second concept is cumulative distribution function cumulative distribution function or distribution function of random variable X is defined as capital F of X uh, where small f of X uh, uh, dx varies from minus infinity to x or small f of x is equals to differentiation of capital f of x example if uh, x ranges from 2 to 6 and we need to find the cumulative distributive function distribution function capital f of x so we will write the uh, we will write the uh, like limits from 2 to x not from 2 to 6 so 2 to x f of x dx now let us see an example See, if a random variable x has a cumulative distribution function capital F given by capital F of x is equals to this 0 x when uh, range is uh, less than 0 c into 1 minus x to the power minus x for x greater than 0. So find the priority, uh, di uh, priority density function of fx and value of c. So what is f fx? It is nothing but differentiation of capital F of x. So f of x, small f of x is uh, differentiation of capital F of x. That That is uh, differentiation of 0 is 0. Differentiation of c into 1 minus e to the power minus x is nothing but c. c is constant. 1 is a constant so 0 and um, minus e to the power minus x would be e to the power minus x for all x greater than 0. Now we are supposed to find the value of c. So uh, we learnt uh, the property of uh, probability density function that is probability density function varies from minus infinity to infinity is equals to 1. So uh, for here uh, it varies from 0 to infinity right because the limit was from 0. So 0 to infinity e to the power minus x uh, dx where c is constant so we will put c uh, outside then it would uh, result in c minus e to the power minus x limits uh, 0 to uh, infinity when we we'll put the limits we will get this value is equals to 1 so c is equals to 1 so probability density function f of x is equals to uh, this 0 and e to the power minus x because c here is 1 1 into this right now let us see an important question this is the question so in this question it is given x capital x is a continuous random variable with uh, probability density function pdf uh, f, a small f of x is equals to kx 0 to uh, uh, 2 2 2k 2 to 4 6k minus kx 4 to 6 and 0 otherwise so we are asked to find the value of k and also the cumulative distribution function for f of x so for the value of k for the value of k what is the formula what is the property of uh, probability density function that is f of x dx varies from minus infinity to infinity and gives the value 1 so let us add all the uh, intervals and it would result to 1 0 to 2 kx 2 to 4 2x 2k and 4 to 6 6k minus kx dx is equals to 1 that would result k k is equals to 1 by 8 so value of k is 1 by 8 now let us move on to the uh, second part of the problem uh, this i would write and <coughs> uh, tell you because this is important to understand you may face problem so we need to find cumulative dis uh, distribution function cumulative distribution function so for each interval we need to find this cumulative distribution function so first in interval 0 to x uh, to 0 uh, to 2 so what is capital f of x is equals to uh, we read the formula right what it would be minus infinity to x f of x dx but 
here it would not be minus infinity it would be 0 because it starts from 0 so 0 to x what is x highest value of x here that would be x only here it would be x not 2 remember this is the only difference when you write cumulative uh, cumulative distribution function it should be x not 2 remember so uh, 0 to x fx dx the value would be 0 to x kx dx it would give x square by 16 now for second interval that is 2 to 4 what would be f of x f of x would be the previous value plus this value uh, like the previous function plus this function how so it should vary from 0 to x 0 to x f of x dx so um, here uh, what is x x is uh, x is greater than 2 so till 2 we, we have to find so the first would be 0 to 2 okay this one 0 to 2 then fx dx plus the second would be from 2 to x 2 to x fx dx so here from 0 to 2 what is the fx fx is nothing but k of x dx plus here 2 to uh, 2 to x what is the fx 2 to uh, 2 to x 2 uh, from 2 to x the fx is 2k so it would be 2k dx so when we solve this we would get x by 4 minus 1 by 4 this would be the value right now wh wh what we do next now we have uh, completed two intervals so uh, it's not like uh, we completed one or two interval and then we will stop no we cannot stop we have to write for the third interval as well so what is the third interval 4x to the power 6 here what would be the fx fx would be same 0 to x f of x dx but here x what is x what is x x is less uh, less than 4 so till 4 uh, we have to write the lower limit so what would be the um, value how they are distributed 0 to 2 plus 2 to 4 and here at last in this interval we won't write 6 we would we would write 4 to x 4 to x so what would be the function from 0 to 2 the function was kx dx from 2 to 4 the function was 2k dx and for 4 to x that is from 4 to 6 what is the function the function is 6k minus kx 6k minus kx dx so this would result in 2k plus 4k plus 6k x minus 4 minus k by 2 x square minus 16 i hope you could do the in integration part this is uh, you have learned in the statistic uh, sorry in calculus of course so the final value would be x square by 16 minus plus 3 x by 4 minus 5 by 4 this is the final answer so this is how you only find cumulative distribution function this is all for this video see you guys in the next video